Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller with PA Creative. I'm here with another lesson in our free mini course on making Divi responsive. So in this one, we enter the exciting world of CSS, uh, but don't worry, we're gonna just be showing you some of the responsive options that they have um, for, for the tablet, phone, and desktop tabs there in the CSS. So in each of the columns, modules, rows, and sections, there's CSS breakpoints as well. So this is a pretty cool feature and I'm gonna show you a couple of use cases for that and a couple that you can use and learn from. All right, let's get started. Okay, so Divi now offers responsive CSS breakpoints in all sections, rows, columns, and modules. And these can be super handy. And I'll share a couple of examples here how you can use them. So we're in the advanced tab under custom CSS. So here you go, we have this phone icon again, and we can actually add code to each one of these and have it apply to specific breakpoints. So I'm in the button module, and I'm using this as an example because I might have a button here on desktop. And I don't, I don't want this to be any wider, but when I go to mobile, I want it to take up the width of the screen. So what we need to do, we need to go to desktop and we can say width auto like that okay for desktop but then for phone I want this to be wider you know I, I want this button to be full width and we're not really teaching you CSS in this course but um, this is just an example of how you can you know use the built-in settings in Divi so I want this button to be 100% wide there you go so you can see how handy even just these CSS toggles can be for making quick changes. When I go back here to desktop, you know, I don't, I don't want it to be full width, but you know, when I switch to phone, I do. Another example would be with the blurb. So sometimes, sometimes I'm making like a list here and maybe I'll just show you quick. Let's say I want to make a checklist, right? And, um, or maybe like that. And all I want is just the title and I don't really want this text here so I can go in here and hit that well I don't like how it's not lining up so an example of how to use CSS to our advantage here I could go down here to where it says blurb title and let's say um, for desktop I'm gonna say margin top 10 pixels all right see how it adjusted that nicely and let's say oh, I'm over on phone now and it looks really good but let's say I also wanted to adjust the icon size for phone. I think it's too big. So I make it like 32 for phone. And all of a sudden my my CSS, you know, needs to be updated because it just doesn't match. So let's say I say margin top, you know, I don't know, what did I say? Something like that. And actually it looks the way it's looking, I would want to say negative. So something like that. So you can see how valuable just using this CSS is like, just like that. Look how nice that looks, nice and lined up. All I did was add something to the phone or, you know, the desktop like that. All right, there's probably lots and lots and lots of more use cases, but those are two that I thought of for when you're making Divi responsive. Okay, so that's a quick look at some of the responsive CSS settings in Divi. So again, don't be too overwhelmed by CSS or anything like that. Those are there if you need it. And as you learn, you'll be learning more about CSS as you explore Divi and web design and things like that. So those can come in handy. All right, let's keep going. We'll see you in the next lesson.